Oh yes, and I'm back. Hello y'all, y'all already know what this is. Prince Onyx, as I said in the last video, giving y'all an extra special treat. So this was the video that, was, uh, that I was going to do yesterday. It was a review of the K. Michelle album, Anybody Wanna Buy a Heart. And first off, let me start by saying if you're going to get the album, if you're going to get the CD, the hard copy of the album, get it from Best Buy. They have the deluxe version exclu exclu exclusively sold there. Sorry, you guys. Exclusively sold there. And you get the two bonus tracks, Silhouettes and Get In My Bed. And I believe Silhouettes is the track that is going to be used as the UK single overseas. So anyway, let's get into this album. Uh, the first track, Judge Me, uh, that's one of my favorites. Pretty much the vibe I get from that song is that, you know, the vibe I get from that song is that uh, pretty much, you know, judge me because I'm only human, you know, only, well, really not judge me, but only God can judge me. I am only human. I make mistakes just like you do, just like all of you do. So it doesn't really matter. You know, you want to keep talking this trash about me, do it anyway. I will keep my head held high and I will walk away, sashay away, whatever the hell you, whatever you like to do and, you know, leave it at that. So I really liked the song. It was really good. It was really a good one. The second one, Love Em All, is the lead single for the album. And to be honest with be honest with you, I was about to say with me. To be honest with you, that song had to grow on me because it was a different side of K that I wasn't used to. It was the it was the pop crossover K, which is not a bad thing at all. It was the pop meets R and B version of K Michelle, which is really good if you want to, you know, get different dynamics and hit those other people, get those other people's, you know, pockets. You know what I'm saying? Get get more money for yourself. You know, more money, more power to you, girl. Anyway, the next song, which I believe is going under, that's another song that had to grow on me at first, but I like it because it's just, you know, it's just like. You know, how do I keep from going under? How do I keep from, how do I keep my head above water? How do I keep from, you know, falling into that dark abyss and not able to get out? How do I, you know, keep from going under? Like, it's something that just keeps me going, keeps me motivated, inspired, and pushed to never go back to that place and never, you know, drown in a sense. It's a really good song, and the message within it is good as well. The next song, which I believe is Cry. I like this song in particular as well, and I like the intro where it says, no one is off limits, I'm about to go in, you know, not your family, not your friends, and it's just like, you know, those of y'all that hurt me the most, y'all are going to have to suffer, and then when she's talking to the guy in the song, it's like, you hurt me the most, and now you want me back in your life, you're going to have to suffer for that, and I'm not coming back, and you're just going to have to cry, 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 because I'm done with it, so I like that song as well. Uh, how do you know? What got me with that song, because it had to grow on me a little bit, I love the piano intro, and it's just, the message, you know, how do you know, you know, how do you know, how do you know that love is really for you, how do you know that you can love again, like she said in the chorus, when you've given him everything, you know, it's just, how do you know, how can you pick up the pieces and carry on with your life, how do you know, it's a really good song, I like that one as well, uh, Hard to Do. That is one of my favorite songs, Hard to Do. It's just a really good song to just, you know, you put it on, you just feel very sexy. And you just feel very sexy and you just start dancing and just like, you know, you know, I'm put this, what you going to do when I put this, you know, pretty thing on you? Like, what you going to do? Like, you know, it's hard to do, but eh, it's hard to, I think it's like the song, I think the message is like, it's hard to like, you know, be without your lover for a while, your partner, your man, your woman, it's hard to be without them for a while, and you're just like, you know, damn, like, it's hard to, like, not keep you out of my head when I'm constantly, constantly thinking of you, so I like that song in particular as well. I like the next one, uh, Maybe I Should Call, and the video for that one is really good, too. It's pretty much like, you know, you regret not checking up on this person. You know, you guys are exes now, but you had a very good relationship. Or I think it's like, you know, he was the guy was cheating on you was cheating with he was cheating on his wife with you. And it's like now that him and his wife have gotten serious and they had a baby and all this stuff that he probably promised you. It's like, you know, you feel bad because it's like, damn, at first you were very bitter and angry at him. And you was like, damn, maybe I should have let all that go. And just called him anyway. Maybe I should have just let it go. And maybe I should have called him any damn way. Like I don't see why I didn't. I should have just called him. That's the type of vibe I get from that song. The next one is another one of my favorites. Something About the Night. 
the video for that song is amazing. I'm telling you guys now, that video is amazing. She was paying homage to other doo-wop singers and jazz singers and blues back in the old days. You know, back when the uh, when our black brothers and sisters were in those clubs and you know the doo-wop era and stuff, the Billy Holiday, the Bessie Smith, the I think it's Ella Fitzgerald. It's like all all the different women. Like she was uh, paying homage to them. That video was amazing, and it showed her, her little a little bit of her acting chops a little bit in there. And um, you know, it was just hey, there's something about the night that I might I might just let you come on in. You know. And it's something about that, about the night, that just keeps me, it keeps me there and it keeps me coming. Like, it's something about the night. Next is Miss You Goodbye. I like that song in particular. Uh, I like that, well, I like that song as well. Pretty much, you know, she misses the man, she misses the guy, but she doesn't miss all the bad shit he does. She misses the good things and not the negative things. So it's kind of like, I miss you, but at the end of the day, goodbye. It, it is what it is. Hmm. The next one is Build a Man intro slash Build a Man. You know, pretty much she's talking about in that song, she's naming different men in her life and the different parts of them, personality or physical or whatever it was that was so good about them. That one part, she's taking it, taking it from each one of them and building like her own Frankenstein, her own creation of a man. So it's pretty much, you know, that type of song where it's just, you know, all the different lovers that you've had in your life, partners, whatever the case may be. I hope you guys wrap up, by the way. Um, you know, protect yourselves. You know, all the different lovers that you had, you just want to take different pieces of them and make this perfect man or woman, depending on your, you know, your preference. You just want to take those different pieces and make a different man or woman and just like, here's the one I will love. Like, here's the one just for me. Next is Drake Would Love Me. Now, that song, she said she actually played it for Drake, and her and Drake are really good friends. To be honest, they should, in the future, side, okay, side note, in the future, Drake and K. Michelle should do an album together. I just feel it. Like, maybe like a singing album, both of them singing on there, or like a rap and singing album. I feel like they should do it. Or do like one good song and see how it, you know, fares well with the fans. Anyway, with Drake Would Love Me, um, pretty much, it's just like a, it's kind of like a female version of Drake's song, Girls Love Beyonce. And so she's just pretty much saying how if Drake and her were in a relationship, she said he would be on his good behavior. Like, she was pretty much naming different songs that he did and putting her own twist on them. She was like, she she make him so proud of her or he'd be so proud of her or something from his song, you know, Make Me Proud or whatever. And then the worst behavior, she said he'll be on his good behavior. So I like that she name dropped the different songs and just was just like, you know, if he was in love with her, because the song, if he was in love with her, he would act right and everything would be A-OK -okay with the two of them. Because basically in, in the Breakfast Club interview, the song is about, um the song was for the ladies out there who do really love Drake. And it's like this song is pretty much for you girls out there. If you really do love Drake, th that song is for you. And it's just something to play just to be like, you know, if Drake did love me, I this is what would happen. The last song, God, I Get It, which is the last song on the standard version, if you don't get the deluxe. The last song on the standard on the standard version, God, I Get It. It's a country record. And I love it, by the way. Um... It showed a different side of K. Michelle again, which is like a country, uh, more a uh, country sounding K. Michelle, which is a okay with me. And pretty much, I like that song because it's very personal and it's just like I get it. I'm not perfect. I'll admit it. I make mistakes, this and that. You know, it's kind of like the first song, Judge Me. So it's kind of like Judge Me, and then God, I get it. It's kind of like Judge Me Part Two. But um, you know, that song. It's a really good. It's a really good way to end the album for the standard version. It's a really good way to just like balance it out. And in the album, it's kind of like a good sandwich with the track list, if you look at it that way. Uh, next would be for the deluxe version, Silhouettes. I like that song in particular. I may have to listen to it again to really get what the message was about, because I, um, I really didn't really get what the message was about, I guess. Because, silu well, from Silhouettes, the word and the definition is like, you know, pretty much like a shadowy image or something. So maybe it's like Silhouettes in the bed or whatever, you know, when somebody lays in the bed uh for a certain amount of time or if they lay in the bed so much they have they leave a print in within the sheets and on in the mattress or whatever so maybe it's that i'm not too sure uh get in my bed that's a really that's also the on the that's the uh other deluxe track i really like that one as well 
Um, the, uh, Get In My Bed, you know, it's one of those songs that you put on when you want to feel sexy. It's kind of like a combination of hard to do and something about the night put together in a sense. It's just one of those good, you know, feel good, sexy type of songs. You just put it on, you just like, get in my bed. Just, just, just come on, come on. Just get in my bed. Like, I need you loving. I need you right now, tonight, today, this morning, this afternoon, this evening. I need you. So that's the type of vibe I get from that song. But overall, I would give this album a A+. Plus. K. Michelle, you did a wonderful job, and I'm very proud of you. And with that being said, with that being said, I wish you all the best in your endeavors. I still do hope to work, meet and work with you someday with uh, film and television. So, you know, fingers crossed, may our stars align, and I wish you all the best. And I hope that you do start winning more and more awards, which you will. And just to let you know, Kay, I will be attending you and Keisha Cole's joint tour in 2015, whenever it is. Can't wait for the tour dates. So, you know, I will be in attendance. And, you know, that is all I got today, you guys. So, you know, if you guys want to, check out the album, Anybody Want to Buy a Heart. And if you want the deluxe version, it is at Best Buy with the two tracks, Silhouettes and Get In My Bed. Thank you all, and I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. This is Prince Onyx signing off.